The word haptics, from the Greek, means to touch, and it's used in gaming to help players experience the sensation of what is happening while they play. You can see all the vibrations where they're hitting you, which yeah. is, like, which is pretty cool. Haptic tech often relies on vests, gloves or suits. But a company in Bristol has developed a technology that's about to change all that. These pioneers have developed a device that allows players to actually feel what they're playing with bare hands alone. Ultra Haptics was set up five years ago, and these haptic pads called Stratos create points of pressure in midair. And using ultrasound, they can get you to experience the feel and touch of all sorts of things, from pressing ATM buttons, Oh, you have to actually like push your finger through the button. Grabbing invisible balls of bubbles. I can feel each individual bubble popping. <laughs> and even controlling your car stereo. And just as you can change the volume of your music. <laughs> and you can feel it as well. So even if you're not looking at what you're doing, you can tell which thing you're holding your hand over. Navigate media fan. More importantly for me, though, Anthony from Ultra Haptics reckons it's going to have a massive impact on computer games. If you're making a VR application or an AR application where you don't actually have controllers, this obviously allows you to create the feedback of interacting with stuff in, in the virtual environment. You can actually sort of reach out and touch things, so it gives that little extra level of immersion. Quite cool. And Anthony's groundbreaking haptic technology has recently been incorporated into a horror game, and I'm about to get a play. Affected, The Visit is an adapted version of one of the most popular VR horror games around, Affected, The Manor. It's a walkthrough horror set in a dimly lit house where players have control of their movements, but nothing else. We're just going to get you on a machine over here that tracks all of your finger movements individually. It's a very high-tech okay. machine. So we're just going to have you put your eyes in there. Okay. Yeah. okay. So just put your hands out in front of you. Oh, 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 weird. Oh, OK. As I place my hands above the hardware pads, they're tracked and then appear as a pair of on-screen virtual hands. Oh, that's so tingly. What's happening? <laughs> OK, warning. This experience is intense. Do not play if you have a nervous disposition. Everyone watching is going to be hoping that I have a nervous disposition so that I'm frightened out of my life. Hundreds of transducers on the pad then push shapes onto my hands using ultrasound so I can feel what my on-screen hands can feel. Oh, creepy. Oh, no. As I'm told to push my hands through an icy dissolving picture... Oh, that's so strange. ..I feel a prickly sensation. That's it's tingly, and I can, and it feels tingly in like a line coming back as well. Oh! Ah. <laughs> and I feel the impression of a triangle hitting my palm as the puck of a Ouija board okay. spins in front of me. Oh, weird! Oh! It actually feels like it's spinning. <laughs> I can even feel a fiery sensation as my hands burn. It's like a ball of electricity between my fingers. Although it is strange having no control of other aspects of the gameplay while I'm walking through the manor. Oh, it feels like it's getting bigger. The use of ultra haptics makes this experience all-consuming. And I've no doubt that when this tech makes its way into other gaming experiences... So that was quite cool. <laughs> It'll make for some very interesting games. Oh, yikes. That was very clever. <laughs> Just gonna get you out. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, that was actually amazing. Uh, I've never felt anything quite like that before. But what was really cool about it was how it was very particular, so I could feel when things were rotating or when things were, like, moving across my hand. It's really cool. Uh, maybe something that's not horror in future. Just for me. <laughs>